Hi, my name is um, Nidhi Reva. I um, have a master's in public health and I also have my physician assistant degree. Um, I founded Nested in, gosh, 2017 after a massive earthquake had um, really demolished a community in Ecuador. Um, it was it was one of those experiences that you'll never forget. Um, and I was really proud to be a part of a team that was able to go to this community that um, had nothing and only had um, one concrete building um, that had a generator. It acted as a church to 70 smaller communities or villages around. And prior to us coming, um, we had uh, Potch representatives um, actually go to multiple villages and tell them that we were coming. So when we arrived, we had two to three hundred patients waiting in line since, I don't know, six in the morning. So after that trip, I realized that part of what I want to do and what I've always um, kind of incorporated into my medical practice is actually serving others. And that's when I decided to start Nested. Um, Nested is a uh, a childbirth education company. It is um, a infancy PR, and we also teach families how to, um, you know, take care of a baby when they're first born. So, diapering. You know, um, what are some, you know, common things that happen to babies? And uncommon things. But during the pandemic, we were scheduled to come to Ecuador again. We've come here every year except for the past two years. Um, and it was heartbreaking because the last team I took was 20 people that worked diligently. We think I saw, within a week, we saw 700 patients, which we're really proud of. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't come in 2020 or 2021, but the exciting thing is that we're actually the first group that's been able to come since the pandemic started. Um, and that means the world to us. So um, because we now, through um, the pandemic have realized that a lot of people got hurt or unnecessarily died because the people around them or their family members didn't learn CPR. Um, and it was very hard to get medical care also during that time that we decided to become American Red Cross um, instructors. So we actually can teach anyone from 10 years old to 100 years old, how to save a life if someone's choking or if someone um, has a heart attack. So we've been really successful in that. And my goal is to make sure, like all these communities, that we actually do more education and actually showing to make sure that everything goes well and that we can actually prevent a lot of these illnesses. So I don't think, um, I don't think I'll ever not love um, Ecuador. It's my second home and uh, I have a brother here and I, I feel like always, no matter what team I'm with, um, they're all volunteers by the way. And they actually pay to come because we want to get a lot of um, donations and stuff like that. So we do that, and actually we've had a lot of generous donors this time because there's so many people want to help. Um, I live in the D.C. area, and I can only tell you that a lot of them can't come for different reasons, but they truly want to help this population. So I specialize in women's health. I work at uh, Virginia Hospital Center, and I cannot tell you um, how rewarding it is to actually be able to teach here and in the U.S. Um, so every trip I say this, they, they give more to me than I ever give to them. So that's why we keep coming back. So we'll see you in again, probably in six to 12 months uh, in Ecuador.